All right, I am back. What's up, everybody? I am Bacon96. This is Bacon's fictional franchise. Decided to take some time off before uh, streaming again. Today is my first one back since uh, since the big news about uh, MLB 21. Cover athlete being Tatis, of course, and then the alternate edition, um, or I don't know what they called it exactly, but that's going to be Jackie Robinson. I'm sure everyone knows that. Uh, there's no year-to-year save, so I'm a little upset about that. Um, that was one thing that uh, that uh, made me pretty uh, pretty upset, actually, with the show. But uh, I believe that uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be all right, and we'll see if we can transfer the roster over. I'll talk about that in length later on. But uh, we'll jump into this game because I'm more worried about today than I am about. A game that comes out in uh, two months. So let's get started. I got Mario Emerling pitching for me, Atlanta. And then we're playing against Miami. That's Tyler Jackson. So we'll look at those Marlins real quick. Jackson is cold. Decent numbers, 437 ERAs, okay. Um, more hits than innings pitched. No strikeouts. He's got a low strikeout rate. And then the Marlins, uh, Anderson's out. He's injury prone anyway, so that's kind of expected. And then they called up Kelly and Erickson, and both of them got hurt. Damn, okay. Uh, Shaw's injured as well. That's a big bat for them to miss. Um, and then Jernigan, too. Wow, that's a lot of guys they have on the IL here. Um, nonetheless, yeah, they're in the playoff push. They're just a little bit ahead of us, and uh, we're going to get started here um, tonight. So here we go. Again, thanks for joining me today. First stream back. It's been about a week for me. Uh, I believe I was on last Friday. Um, but here we go. I'm at home. It will be in the rain. That is interesting. So there we go, Emerling. There, here's our lineup. I'm not really going to do much. Um, thinking, let's put Salazar in there instead of Riddle. I mashed with Salazar, so why not at least get his bat in the lineup, see what we can do there. Uh, and then, yeah, gets at third, Salazar at short. Those are... That's his primary sales are. Um, this works for me, though. Um, yeah, let me know if you can't hear me. Uh, I just got a new mic. It's barely in the camera here. But um, nonetheless, I'll try to talk into it a little bit. But it's, it's going to be a little, a little bit of an adjustment for me. But nonetheless, thanks for being here. <clears throat> <clears throat> Go ahead and say hi in the chat if you're with me now. Let's uh, let's make this a conversation instead of just me talking. There is rain in the area, but we it is truest. It is. What's up, Jaron? Welcome, welcome, buddy. Um, are you still going in your franchise? I haven't seen much. I know you're doing uh, you're doing a postseason right now, right? Postseason intensifies a pivotal game for two division rivals. Next. Rain in here today. Marlins beat me the last time we played them, right? Mario Emerling will be on no, we won by one run. That's what it series. was. Okay. Dan, that was the one where I was up by a bunch. Hey, this guy Mario Emerling. Start, Matt, having lost two of his last three starts, so <clears> you know he wants to get off on the right foot in this one. Again, new mic today, so uh, I'd like some some chat feedback if you guys can hear me, and if it's uh, if it's good sound quality, of course. That's good. You're playing right now. Fantastic. I didn't notice a notification. Are you playing on Twitch? Nice first pitch out here. I always get quick first innings, at least. If nothing else. There it is, first out. Here's their lineup. And here's how the visiting Miami Marlins will line up in this one. Dero, tell us about this lineup as they try to force a rubber match in the series. Yeah, Matty, this lineup is an interesting case study. Because if you're not a big believer in batting average... Again, lots of injuries here for this Marlins team. They got a backup first baseman and center fielder in. And then catcher as well. No, you haven't been streaming? Okay. That's all right. Again, I took some time off as well. Uh, again, upset with the information. Not a fan of uh, making this difficult on me, Sony. But uh, I'd, I'd still like to move the roster over to the next game. That that would be uh, ideal. 
Yeah, Maddie, I always felt like these were huge games. Let's see how much work that's going to take, though. Or later in the season to find a way Aguilera. To get to you under. feel like you can start fresh and start pushing in a different direction. You cannot continue to ride that <laughs> seesaw of win one, lose one. This team has to get hot. Starts today. Standing in, Dwayne Scott. And you see what he's done in recent action. Obviously seeing the ball well right now. Here's the first pitch to him. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ball one. And there's ball one. If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. <clears throat> I do like Emerling. Nice pitch mix, five pitches, and then he's got a B potential. Here's the slurve. Very nice. Let's go. Yeah, we'll see about rosters transferring. I think um, reading between the lines a little bit here from what I've heard from the community and, you know, read and kind of like inferred myself, I think that we're going to get new player models, at least for PlayStation 5 and the Series X, or the Xbox Series X. So I think that uh, player models might transfer from uh, 20 to 21 if it's on PlayStation 4, but I'm guessing that they're not going to if you're going to PlayStation 5. Um, so that's that's going to be a big thing there. Um, but uh, that's what it used to be. It used to just transfer uh, individual players uh, year to year instead of just being able to do the whole roster like I was able to uh, last spring. That was really great to be able to, uh, you know, just have it come in day one, import directly from the old game. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we will see. Need to know a lot more information before I decide on my own path, uh, what's going to happen, and, you know, if I even play 21. I'm not any, even sure about that at this point. We will see. Yeah, Maddie, this road trip's been a little bit of a struggle for this team. First four games, they find themselves one and three. Haven't played particularly well. They'll find a way to regroup. They have to find a way to play a little bit more fundamentally sound. Start there first. Yeah, if they give us like more personality and player models, it's totally worth it from their perspective. A little bit more uh, variation, whatever it may be. And, you know, a lot of people are asking for that kind of kind of improvement. Again, I'm all for it. It's just it just means I'm gonna have to put in some, a little bit more work here. So we will see. Now the two one to first. Up and doing here. That's Grabo over there. I mentioned him the last time we played them. He is a fantastic infielder. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team starting lineup. Mark, what do you have on this group in front of the home crowd? Today? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I might, I might just do the same where it just, I'll just hold on to it until it's on sale, until it's twenty dollars, and then buy twenty one at that point. But. We'll see. I do play a little bit online. Um, I'm in a custom league now. I'm, I'd like to be in custom leagues next year, but it depends on, you know, how different the game is and how much it's actually worth. Um, worth upgrading. But yeah, without your year saves, that kind of, uh, you know, upset me. It's quietly like the best feature in the game. It's the reason why this roster exists, if you want to go as far to say that. Uh, because there's no way I'd make this in one game and then have to make it again the next year and you know continue to have to do that every single year. I wouldn't even get to play the games if that was the case. Gets with a nice single there. Love this dude. Bobby Getz. That's got to be frustrating right there. You execute a pitch, a nice good pitch right there. Batter's able to get a little lucky. Stayed through it, caught it off the end of the bat. Not his best swing, Beautiful, right down the line. Here's Chase Parker. That's the pitch I swing at so much, too. That cutter or a, like a slider down and away like that. Parker. And she'll take a look at ball one. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break. In Sounds like we might get a delay in this game. Thankfully, it doesn't actually uh, do a real time delay. We'll just uh, skip through a 30 minute or 90 minute or whatever it may be uh, rain delay here. As you guys know. Definitely not something I'd want uh, implemented in the game is real time, uh, real time rain delays. 
3 0 to Parker here in the first. It's going to take this one. There's no way I can swing 3 0 here in the first. Yep. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. And he lays there we go. Nice ball four. Ball four. First and Got a nice little first inning ball. rally going here. One out with my cleanup hitter up. Coming to the plate now, Mason Franklin. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. <laughs> From the stretch. Line drive the oh, come on. I get good wood with him all the time, and it's yeah, always to outfielders, it seems. Problem for the second out. Well, we've mentioned that the conditions fit. aren't ideal with the rain coming down, and like that can make every play a little bit of an adventure. Hate it. You really have to concentrate, <clears> and he did there to haul it down. All right, so here we go. Here's Fujita. Elijah Fujita has been one of my better hitters this year, especially on stream. He's under 300 now, 16 and 37 on the year. Mainly a shortstop. I got him in right field now. He's not a good defender. Shown his card a number of times. Again, just power hitter, power hitter, shortstop. Not too much against left-handers, but ooh, okay. But real decent. With runners in scoring I do like facing Jackson because he's, he's got that cutter primarily. And then the fastball doesn't get too much over 93. 92-93, I believe, is where it sits. So a, a lot of the guys in the roster are higher velocity kind of guys, but he's not. And I understand that, too. I know you guys don't exactly like hitting off high velocity. But it's kind of the route baseball's going now. A lot of guys throwing in the upper 90s. And we get nothing in the first. Second Again, thanks for being here. I know I've uh, taken some time in between the last stream and this one, but uh, well, Matt, thanks, thanks for your support. We're much of a break from this rain at all as the game progresses. However, I am also hearing that this rain isn't supposed to intensify too much. The grounds crew will be on standby just in case the umpires do call a delay, but the goal is to get this one in uninterrupted. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, Heidi and so Heidi doesn't the think there'll be a delay. He's Grabo. Mash is against left-handed pitching. One never knows what Mother Nature has in store. Uh, I believe it was the right decision to acquire Wong. Uh, I like him a lot. Um, he's really great at Miller Park or uh, American Family Park or whatever they're calling it now. And solid contact there as his ball is belted. And uh, that's a home run. Uh, but yeah, yeah, Colton Wong is fantastic. Really good defensive second baseman. Uh, he's definitely a uh, an upgrade defensively over Hira, and I'm not the biggest fan of Hira either. He needs to cut down on the strikeouts at least. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. And yeah, what's up, Bullet? Welcome, buddy. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that sold Yeah, Heidi Watney doesn't look great. I'll, I'll say that much. Um, it's good that she doesn't have too much of a role, if we're being honest, because she needs a lot of work uh, in terms of, uh, you know, they do like the individual strands for players, like strands of hair, I mean. Why don't they do the same for Heidi? Just completely redo her entire face and her entire appearance in the show, because it's not good. fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify. But yeah, they they said something about how uh, they're gonna combine March to October and franchise, or at least that's what it, it sounds like. Um, and Heidi has like a bigger role in March to October, so I'd assume that uh, that would mean she gets a bigger role in franchise, just from again reading between the lines. This is all speculation. I don't really know much about the game myself. Uh, I wish I did. But uh, again, pure speculation. Not being very aggressive right now. So yeah, better looking Heidi would be a, an improvement for sure. Count remains two and two. Thanks for being here, Bullet. Appreciate you. Pitch on the way. And a check there we go, strike three. Clearly breaks the plane as he set down for the first out. Again, let me know, guys, if the audio is weird. I just got a new mic. Uh, I got it from a friend used. Um, so we'll see how this this works out. 
once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow I might need to like down. lean in a little more, you know, just like talk quietly instead. But, um, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I really don't know. Of course, I'll listen to this stream later when I am uh, I'm done playing. I'll listen to it just to see how I sounded. There we go. That bald went out. He had three hits last time, pretty Miles, sure. Miles Flynn. Because Miles Flynn plays third base for these Marlins. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Hard on the ground towards short. Fielded cleanly. Okay, I don't need to lean in. Okay. If I did lean in, would I have to whisper? We can make some ASMR baseball here. There's a home run for Graybo. So we're down one. Thanks for being here. Again, it is early. Just the second inning here. So we have plenty of time to come back. Last time we scored nine runs or eight runs against these Marlins. So I should get something, right? Given that logic. Here's Luke Jordan. I haven't used him too much on stream. Second baseman. He just came back from an injury. Um, I wish that it would talk in game about how he just came back. You know, like he like broke his foot or whatever. You know, something something like that. Just a quick quick heads up. But uh, we get no special animation or uh, you know, lines for that. And he popped him up. Be really cool again if you're just like playing other teams in franchise too. And oh, you know, this guy just got off a of Tommy John surgery. And this is his first start back. Something like that. And diving into the, the Marlins defense. On team, the one thing that jumps off Good defense up the middle. Gonzalez and Barry are probably the best second base shortstop combination in Bacon's fictional roster. And then the rest of the infield is not too bad either. I actually like the Marlins a lot. At the plate now, Jorge Aguilera. Take a look Should have swung at that right first one. Again, Jackson doesn't throw too hard, so I shouldn't be late on anything. It's just deciding if I want to swing or not and uh, getting the bat on the ball. Which I'm not doing. Here's Salazar. Nice little bat for me. I got Emerling next, so I'd like to at least clear the pitcher's spot here. That would be great. Oh, come on now. Hey, this is an amazing the O2 to right Salazar. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense Nothing. invested. Chance I really dropped the PCI the there. That was win. bad. Flynn is there that was a quick bad inning. All right. <clears throat> so there we are through two. <laughs> Again, thanks for joining me. We're now in the third inning here in Atlanta. Uh, of course, I'm not in Atlanta. I am in Milwaukee, as always. It's about 10 degrees outside. So, uh, you know, your skin burns when you go outside. There's Tyler Jackson, their pitcher. Tyler Jackson, he'll get to take his first cuts here. Now the pitch. There we go. The wind up and found him inside with fastballs. Grounded softly to the right. That's two quick outs here to start the third. Back to their top here's Travis Berry. Travis Berry over one for him here in this one. First pitch of the at bat. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Two out, nobody on. And a pitch in Come the on, dirt now. as he lays off. It's one and one. Down the third baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Hit hard it's to not the where line. I wanted that pitch. Foul. <laughs> okay. Let's do a slider down and away. Try to get him to swing at this one. There we go. Quick one, two, three inning here in the third. Well, let's get something going. I got the pitcher and then back to the top here. Emerling first. And then he actually does decent um, at the plate. I don't remember if he's better against righties or lefties, but he's at least decent. 
Here he is. Spending no hits it. so far. Show him right now. Yeah, he's better against righties. And one, like, deep fly ball against the Cubs. Um, so that was about it, but we'll see here if I can do anything. I don't generally hit well with a pitcher at the plate, but that's because, you know, no ratings. But uh, we'll see here. Something going. Again, that's another thing you should always pay attention if you're playing with my roster. Look at the pitchers. Uh, hitting attributes if you're playing with no DH. There's a swing and he and oh my gosh, did I really just... Did I get this one? Oh, come on! I really Turn thought it was out off the bat. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. Uh, here's the NL East standings. Miami is at the top. Yep, there they are. We are third. Just four games behind them. So we're at... We're below 500, actually. But just four games behind these Marlins. So this is a big series. Back to the top of my order now, it's J.C. Ray. I really did think I hit a home run just now, but I did not. That would have been fantastic with the pitcher on stream. And he misses with it one and one. That cutter, though. That's all he's throwing. And then he does that. Okay. No way you throw back-to-back -back changes now. This has got to be... Oh, no. Nope. It's a cutter. Okay. I thought it was going to be his curveball. Had the PCI down, really thought it was going to come down, and then it stayed up. It's a good pitch mix for... Uh, for Jackson, he just doesn't have the velocity. He's not a big strikeout guy. That's the curveball. This is not good. I'm still hitting, hitting bad right now. I didn't do too great last game either. That was a Spider Mariner game where I only had a home run late. That was about it for my offense. I'd like to get something going tonight, though. First stream back. Again, I took some time off. Uh, I was upset with the news uh, about the show 21, uh, but uh, you know I can't be affected by a game that's not even out yet. Not one that doesn't even come out for two months. But again, it kind of kind of puts uh, into perspective uh, how great that feature was and how much uh, they actually have, how much control they have over you know the way that this roster operates. He makes the catch, uh, a great effort to I'm going to have to there. put in a lot of work if we're going to have it be the same kind of thing in MLB 21 or, or moving Waiting forward. For his second at -back, Dwayne so, uh, again, I, I don't want to speculate, but I'd really like to be able to move players over. At least individual players would be would be easier than having to recreate everybody. But we will see. I'd like to see new player models. If that's the case, that would be a huge upgrade. You know, redo the way that faces work, redo the models themselves, more body types. Um, there's a lot of directions they could go in terms of that. Um, or revamp the franchise or, you know, even just increase the roster size. That would be, you know, worth it in my mind as well. If you, if you add in A-ball, make it 120 players instead of just 90. That would be ideal. Um, and I would understand why they wouldn't be able to do carryover saves in that situation because you can't really do a franchise where you're missing an entire level of baseball one year and then you have it the next. Um, but I think it'd be really cool if they had all of minor league baseball in now. Considering there's only 120 minor league teams, four levels of each team having one team, that would be, uh, that would be ideal once they get to that point. But uh, I don't know if the PS5 is going to have the size for that or whatever their their plans are moving forward. But it'd be really cool. A lot of a lot of things on my franchise minor leagues wish list. So minor leagues are such a big deal in any franchise. In, in Major League Baseball, you know, in real life as well, they're still a big deal. Again, we will see. So pure speculation at this point. We'll. Wait until they announce more information about it. Hopefully coming again this week. They, they had two short announcements this week, or this last week. But again, coming up, I'd like to see them talk more, more in-depth about what's going on.
Dan, that can't bother you too much as a pitcher. Guy swinging first pitch. <laughs> now, one of the things you want to do, D Rose, you have to try to get ahead with the first. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, minor league stat history would be fantastic. Uh, above that, though, I'd still I'd like to be able to edit major league statistics. So if I'm making, you know, let's say like I'm making Reggie Jackson, like I want to have him have all of his accurate stats and you just give me a keyboard and I'll put in every single stat that he has if I make like a Reggie Jackson Standing or for my fictional roster I can put in you know ridiculous numbers like have some guy hit 65 home runs or 70 something or whatever it may be or you know Michael Mayfield is on pace in this franchise kind of thing to get to that but I can come up with the numbers myself instead of having to uh having to simulate it all and that's going to save me a lot of time Especially because I'd probably just duplicate the numbers I had from the previous uh, iterations of, of my roster. Yeah, and bull. Yeah, I agree. It's it's upsetting. It's uh, it's really unfortunate. But they hold a one nothing lead. So. Yeah, it's a uh, it's my favorite feature in the game, and uh, again, like a one of the bigger reasons why the roster lived beyond MLB 16, is that that's when I started it. Of course, if there weren't carryover rosters at that point, it would have just stayed on 16, and I went I went to kept buying the game. I went to put it in the vault, kind of thing, and then we wouldn't be having this conversation. And that's out number one. Stepping in, Mason Franklin. And now pitch on the way. Fouled off. So yeah, I am upset that they, they took it out. For sure. The wind up and the 0-1. <clears throat> you get some offense going now though. We got 3-4-5 for this inning. Here's Franklin. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The one two. He's been throwing that cutter all day. Literally, that's all that he throws. That's a fastball up. He did get it to 94. Um, I wanted to see his pitch breakdown. Yeah. Cutter, 25 of his 39 pitches have been cutter. Then it's five fastball, five curveball, four circle changeups. So yeah, it's all cutters so far. There it is again. And I'm not getting to it, so it makes sense for him to keep throwing it. Striding in, here's Fujita. Fujita. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up. What do I have? Just one hit? Yeah, that's not great. At least get a walk. I mean, look. Yeah, I did get one walk. That was Parker. Okay, cool. No doubt about that. Now. Need base runners. You can't win games if you don't get base runners. But I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way. Terrible. To get a Terrible four innings. Before it gets too late. This is literally just like the last game I played. We played the Mariners when I played as the Spiders last time out. Mariners are one of the better teams in the AL. Marlins one of the better teams in the NL here, and I just got my butt kicked because I couldn't hit anything. Feels like the same thing going on here. Digging in to try it again. Bobby Baldwin. He got Bobby Baldwin. One was a ground out victim last Playing time. center field for these Marlins. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hey, it's a game of execution. If the pitcher stays right there, this lineup's going to continue to have a tough time. Lifted the other way down the left field line. <laughs> And that will end up a Get that foul change ball. it down, 0-2. Throw a non-competitive pitch usually on 0-2. You know, at least get it close, but it generally, you know, 0-2 is That's like a, if you swing at it, right I'd love a three-pitch strikeout. But I'm not mad if you, when you, think that guy's gonna be you know, take a, a pitch that's obviously off the plate or way down. But that's a beautiful two-seam. I like throwing that online a lot, too. The two-seam that runs away from a left-handed batter. These guys always expect the four seem to be up because it's just got higher velo, and then that one just you know darts away. So, again, works offline too. I mean, that, there's no problem with that offline. This is Flynn, the third baseman. Here we go. O two. 
Now we go slider really down and away. So far, this is my strike strikeout zone, pitch. And he's really kept these hitters off balance. Oh, come on, no. to the right side. But taking in over at first for the second out is that might have been extra bases if it were three feet higher. Now in the box, Desi Ruiz comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh one. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground. There we go. The this is a one two three it. inning for me. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first. We'll saves an error as this side is retired. Shove there, sales are. I got a pinch hit if I get to the pitcher this inning. He's a do up fourth. I got Jordan Aguilera and then Salazar. That's six, seven, and eight for me. So I got to think about the bullpen then. We're halfway home here in the fifth inning now. I did bring up Andrew May. I mentioned him before on the stream. I'll move my face. Is this still? Um, but yeah, Andrew May gets up to 95 with the fastball. His mix is slider four seam, two seam, circle chain. And then I'm okay if guys have like a lower walk per nine because that's a little bit more. That's the same stat, the, the walk per nine. Same thing as discipline. It's a sim stat, so it doesn't matter too much in terms of how they perform in-game if you're using them. Uh, but he'll be uh, one of the guys I want to pitch with today. It looks like he's made his Major League debut already. Uh, but we'll see. Bullpen looks well-rested. That's nice. Uh, we'll do Betancourt and May just to get started, and I'll make a decision on which one comes in later on um, or if they even First get to come in. I need a runner back. on this inning. To get to my pitch spot. Right side. Bad pitch to go after. And there's one down now. <sighs> now is Aguilera. Plate, Jorge Aguilera. Aguilera. First pitch of the at bat on its way. It's no wonder this guy's pitch count is so low. If they keep swinging on the first pitch, he's got a real chance to go deep into this one. Yeah, I just haven't had the discipline of Bases I usually have. There we go. 2-0 two count. Two try power swing here. Try to tie this one up. Easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good Thinking he's going to throw a low cutter again, shot, right? Not swinging at pitchers, pitches. He hasn't been throwing it high too much. Oh, he's down. 3-0. All right. Salazar is next. Again, I'd love to at least get to my pitcher's spot. Clear that for this inning and, and get a... Pinch hitter with a runner or two on. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Yeah, that was the one I should have gone after. I don't swing 3 0 too much, though. So There's, There's ball, ball four. four. Take it. Well, you never want to issue a free pass if you can help them. <clears throat> but when a hitter like Double that three. digs in, you'd I'd love to get Salazar on now, too. Driving a ball out of here and erasing your one run lead. Riding in once again, Ari Salazar. Rule 5 draft pick, Ari Salazar. Plays all four infield positions. Yeah, he's not Switch hitter. From the left side. Great defender. Certainly not Chipper Jones, who had pop from both sides of the plate. <laughs> Much more pop hitting right-handed. And a strike to even right down the middle. See, I'm trying to bring up his pitch count. This is what you do with the guys in the bottom of your lineup. You take a lot of pitches that are uh, good to hit. That was one of them. Again, I think I am going to hit for Emerling. It depends. Come on, get in the gap. No. Scott is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Now I got to make a decision here. It's only been five innings for Emerling on the mound. He's got 40 58 contact power against right. So maybe I just keep him going. What's up, Willie? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Glad you're here. Are you at mom's? Um, again, I got to at least think about um, a pinch hitter here don't really I mean I don't have much better options here it's like Riddle maybe and Mazzarocco doesn't have the same pops yeah I'm just gonna let Emerling hit here again he hasn't pitched poorly only down one run here just a solo home run nice yeah that, so I'm not lagging too bad then huh 
but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly it's been a treat to watch there we go 2-0 uh, i'm not going to risk stealing a base here need to minimize pitch count again. Uh, i believe yeah that's aguilera 45 25 so yeah he's not going 45 speed 25 stealing that's generally not uh as high as you want it to be to try to steal there we go 3-0 i'm gonna take this one again i like to take on 3-0 maybe he'll throw something good though so maybe no should i swing then talking myself into it if this is a fastball up then i'm swinging at it 3-0 pitch Nope. Ball four. There we go. So he walks the pitcher. That's good. I like that. Here's JC Ray now. Two runners on. I got my best contact hitter at the plate now. JC Ray. Once again, JC Ray. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Give me a fastball. Not where I wanted it. Yeah, so he does get up to 94. That's probably his fastest fastball. Tyler Jackson, 94. Give me another one, though. Come on. Nope. Not where I wanted it. Curveball. I swung at a worse one than that earlier this inning. I'm playing with personalized umps, too, so they get that one wrong sometimes. And the cutter on the outside. Not a fan. He keeps throwing that cutter and it's been all over the plate. The only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far, and now he finds. There it is. Yes, sir. We'll tie the game on this one. J.C. Ray with a single up the middle. You're tied here in the fifth. It's one to one. Hey, there's a good job. Of that. Big knock from J.C. right there. Big two-out rally here too. One pitch away, and boy, what a terrific! That's three of the last four right batters there. getting yeah, on. Job right there. Some guys are not afraid to hit with two strikes. They'll take that. My first hit too. The other two were both walks, so I got two hits on the game through five innings, and we tie up the ball game. Gets getting on here would be huge because then I got Parker up next. Gets is one for six. He has our only other hit. One for six on the series. That is. I always simulate the first game, so let's show stats for the series uh, now in the second game. That's another ball. It's 2-0. He's throwing all balls this inning. Look at this. That one should have been a strike, too. I thought so. So 2-0. Should be swinging here. This is probably his cutter. Nope. 3-0. and but here, give me a fastball up again. I'm looking up and up and away. Try to send a cutter to the outfield here. There it is. Yes, sir. That's exactly what I was looking for, too. No way I can risk Ray on that. There it is. Bobby Getz with a double to bring in our second run. It's two to one Atlanta. He doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on Again, exactly the pitch I was looking for. Um, three and O oh for that pitch. And I, I didn't want to risk it at home there. JC Ray's got good speed, but still, I didn't want to think about that. Uh, record so far on stream, Willie, is nine and six. Um, I simulated a bunch before I even started playing. We started at the All-Star break. Uh, so we're in August and uh, in the hunt for a wild card for both teams. But uh, on stream, I've nine and six so far. Parker swings and throws from I'm doing just fine stands at five foot ten he's a 17 year big league vet so i think you could say he's just about seen it all yeah and that's the name of the game with this guy you don't hang around 13 uh. years i always say this you show me a good teammate i'll show you a guy who opens the door every so we got two runs at least we'll getting two runs there. is huge to take the lead to and mario emerling is still so in the game on two hits no errors so he goes from left on base. having you know, to be on the hook for the loss, down one run, to still in the game and up a run. Fantastic turn of events here. Big time rally. Just outside Atlanta as we send it down to check in with Heidi. 
here's Heidi. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Don Mattingly about the Marlins' offensive production. I thought she was going to talk about the rain. I don't care then. I really want to be able to skip this, too. Like, I get it for the presentational value. Until they start being more selective but with their swings, he said they sometimes you just to don't want to listen to Heidi. Thank you, Heidi. So it's fun little nuggets Tyler sometimes, Jackson but again, sometimes I just want to skip it. It's so. really Tyler Jackson. He's their pitcher. Yeah, Surprised they're not so pinch hitting here. Not very many hard hit they do have two guys up. We'll yep, that's Carl Davis and Jesse Flowers is the second one. But that's interesting. I really thought they would pinch hit here. first pitch. Here it comes. In there for strike one. I don't love Heidi. I like Heidi in real life. She's decent in real life. Again, yeah, she could use some improvements, though. We mentioned that earlier. What was that, the second inning? She could definitely use some uh, some uh, retooling, if you will. Moving forward. Hopefully, at least on the PlayStation 5, she'll look like a human being. Fouled away. <clears throat> Power the fastball by him. Oh, come on. There we go. Shouldn't have taken that long to strike out the opposing pitcher. Good job there, Mario. That's a pretty solid at bat. Anytime you can make an opposing pitcher out there work and throw quite a few more extra pitches, that's a quality AB in my opinion. Yes, they, they need to do anything different with Heidi. I don't even care. <laughs> yeah, um, again, like, yeah, just uh, just make her look like a human being. I'm sure that was a big thing that they upgraded between PlayStation 3 and 4 was, like, the crowd sizes and, like, how generic the crowd looks or, like, if they're 2D. Um, to do the same thing with Heidi, just make her look a little better. Make her look a little bit more like, a, like an actual human being. He's ready. Here's the first offering. If surgery is what it what it takes, then I'm all for that. It's gonna be off the wall. Fujita is not athletic. And that's a double there for Junior Gonzalez. The double ear flaps there. Yeah, a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of role they can get. They get the tying run one good at second base at a time. with their best hitter at the plate here. I want to at least talk about this. Now, I'm not putting in May. I'm going to have Emerling try to pitch around him a little bit here. And I'd rather face uh, the next guy. Instead, he goes yard in the first pitch. Well All right. right. Looking up is the right fielder. And they take the lead. It's gone. That's bad. <laughs> That's just bad pitching on my part. Yeah, I should have had the fastball a little bit further away, I guess. Away right field, number 26 for him on the season as the Marlins move out in front now, 3 to 2. Hey, if we get that hashtag trending, then a lot of people are going to be really confused. Especially people who don't know that she's in the show. Oh my gosh. Uh, so there's Dwayne Scott's home run. Not the, not the best home run you've ever seen, but out of here. So I lose the lead just like that. We just scored two runs and then give it up. Yeah, nuked isn't the word I'd use there, Willie. Come on, no. It was a shot, but it wasn't, you know... Into the wind up. Here comes the it wasn't nuked. Here's one that I'm just trying to make myself feel better after one. giving up two home runs in the same game. Here's the other guy who hit the home run. You pay for it. Two out, this is... On. Why can't I think of his name now? Caleb Grabo. The to the left no way side. here. Right to him. That's Getz over at third. And again, we give it up here in the sixth, but still plenty of time to get something back. I should have been a little bit more careful pitching around in there. Or trying to pitch around him. Now they got Fished and Flowers up. Those are two lefties. Interesting. Yeah, I wonder where they'd put in the lefties then, right? Let's 
I don't know. I don't even know which one I'd prefer to face of those two either. Either way, Franklin, Fujita, and Jordan for me, that's four, five, and six Third this time up. To him on the way. No, that's down. Looks like a left -hander up and there they are, fish and flowers. That's fish on the left. Two veteran left-handed pitchers on these uh, Marlins. And yes, of course, I put a guy whose name is Fish on the Marlins. Misses ball two. And he fouls this one off. Late on that fastball. See, now I'm just early on it, really. That wasn't the result of an early swing, though. Okay. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Great situation right here, leading off the inning. You gotta find a way to get on base any way possible. But I don't like to take the aggression away from hitters. There we if go, ball four. Zone, hey, if nothing else, I'm walking today. <laughs> I think I was doing that when I was playing as the Spiders last time out too. But still, that's something that uh, generally doesn't slump is the eye, right? Yeah. What are we at now? Four walks so far. I only have one strikeout. Yeah. So I went for a cutter that was nowhere near the plate, the or nowhere near my PCI. This is Fujita, though, noise. big time power bat. It's just so slow. Gone, the cutter is at 88. Just foul into the second deck. I'm set with the 0 and 1. There we go, cutter down. Again, he, that's all he's throwing is those cutters. Should not have swung at that. Okay. One and two now to Fujita. Does he go to cutter or does he, does he go curveball here now? I think it's going to be cutter. Yep. Then move the PCI, though. Need some sort of rebuttal here. At least put up a rally. They took him up the ladder. Couple guys on thread. Get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. We'll see. Here's Luke Jordan. This is where I thought that they'd put in the lefty. I guess not. It's all right. I prefer Jordan to face a right-hand pitcher anyway. They'll get one of those cutters up and in. Popped him up. That was bad. I should have just cleared the PCI there too. Is over and he tucks it away for the second out. Yeah, guys, I'm not uh not at my hitting peak right now. That's for sure. Stepping into the box. I'll say that much. Aguilera. First pitch on its way. Two out with the man at first. High in the air down the right field. Late on that. Come on, no, I shouldn't uh, be late on 88 ever. Aguilera has a history in coming through in the clutch moments, of course. It's always a little bit of a debate whether or not being clutch is actually a trait that a player possesses. But with him, there's no denying it. Yeah, I uh, think I already did peak in terms of hitting on the show. <laughs> it just seems he elevates his game. We'll no, I'm sure you, you get better as you continue to play the game more. And I think this year I'm going to play the game as much as last year, if I'm being honest. just depends on how work goes. And then I actually graduate this spring, so I'm going to have one less, uh, you know, thing to do with my life. I'll just be working this uh, this summer and fall, and it depends on, you know, how COVID goes. Ready for another chance. So we'll see. Maybe I'll play a lot more this year than I did last year even. Generally get better from playing on Lime. Just getting my pitch. butt kicked, right? At least I feel like that. A great job pounding Keep Emerlin going until when you got a great hitter in probably the, box, the end of this inning, unless he gives up more. I know his spot Five comes up again in the bottom of the seventh. Is there to put it away for it's a first out, one. Fujita. And the pitch count's in a great spot for, uh, in, for Emerlin here. Baldwin. 62 pitches only. Here's the first pitch to him. And a strike call no strike the one. knees, nothing in one. Now it's driven. Oh the my other goodness. Way with some headed toward the foul pole. Go! Oh! Yeah, Willie, I do kick your butt. I think I'm undefeated against you. 
Oh, my goodness. That's the third home run for the Marlins. I believe Baldwin had two the last time we played them. Of course, Emerling is the one who's giving it all up here now. Oh, and that was really close to a long out. The left fielder had a beat on I got so close to robbing this, too. Effort, but he couldn't quite bring it back. Instead, it's a trip oh. on the bases. Stepping up to the plate. I think the... And then after that home run, it looks like yeah, the Marlins my butt right now. And yeah, online I get my I usually lose online too. Honestly. Really good, I'm about five hundred online. They're on their way if they can play well the rest of the maybe, game. Maybe maybe even five hundred. I don't even know if that's the case. Fouled away. Just get lucky when I run into guys who don't play the game that often. No errors in the game for the Marlins. Takes this the other there we way go. That right. should easily be out. Right so giving up three runs out. in the last two frames well, because of two home runs. Good, but just like pitches, give up Down two runs, runs now, still in the seventh. Make outs on balls they couldn't have Here's Desi Ruiz, their catcher. Now at the plate, Desi Ruiz. First off, throw a lot of fastballs with Emerling. I like his two seam away a lot. Strike one to start in fact, I just throw that the four seam away too. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Another thing I'd like to edit moving forward is being able to put a pitcher at a certain spot on the rubber. Especially, like, this is weird, too. Like, take a take a little look at this here. Emerling is in the middle of the rubber. Like, you never see that in Major League Baseball. Guy usually has, like, his heel on the edge of one of the sides. Or something along those lines. It's almost never where the guy is staying on the middle of the rubber. So that's really interesting. I don't think I've noticed that before. That's fun to like just mess around with different deliveries and batting stances or whatever to see where they are specifically on the field. Because some guys, you know, have a batting stance that's back foot is right on the back of the line, or again with like pitchers sometimes it's on either side of the rubber, and they finish in different spots, stuff like that. It's just fun to see what the animations are like. Again, yeah, I was close to that, robbing that home run there. Here's Don Mattingly on Bacon's fictional roster. Jesse Flowers. Jesse Flowers is going to come in. It's 69 games already. A lot of innings right there, too. And they're bringing in a catcher, too. It's Lucas Harris. There he is. We just traded him there. Got a few prospects back. So it's going to be 9 1 and 2 for them. I'm going to put in Ben for them. You know that old slogan of blue right. blast. They could certainly use that right now. I think I should. <laughs> yeah, Amish, exactly 69 games. Some would say that is sexy. First Here is Salazar. The way. Change up called strike one. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball <laughs> around the knees like that. Down and in as he's Enough. forced to back out of the way that time. The one one he is in there for the second okay. strike. One two from Flowers. Both pitches in the same spot, same exact spot. There's a knock for Salazar, though. Again, I just feel like I get a hit with him every game. So when I pinch hit with him, it's automatic. But every game, it seems like he does something. And yes, I'm getting excited about a single. It's just because I'm not hitting much right now. That's great. That's good right there. I like it. So who we, who are we using to pinch hit? Uh, my eyes go right to Ramirez. It's either... Or Riddle actually makes a lot of sense, too. Riddle has a lot more vision. Let's go for Riddle, then. Again, just real good against left-handers, Bradley Riddle. Shortstop, play some defense, too. Bradley Riddle. No balls and a strike to count. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. Nine homers and 22 RBIs. Out.
outside for a ball, <clears throat> one and one. There we go, one one. Both have been fastballs. Give me another one. Riddles had a big home run for me before. I'd love to see something like that again. Yeah, that fastball is just too far in for me. He's in the midst of his 14th major league season, so I guess you could say baseball. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, Maddie, no kidding right there. I'll tell you what, the grind to get to the big leagues is so hard. Guys Great. just want, they just want to spend a month, it's all right. a day in the big leagues. It's okay. So put I'm crying. Riddle with a quick double play there. And be a great teammate. That's how you get rid of a rally. Sales are out by a mile. Riddle up by even more at first. It's JC Ray. Now after the double play and standing in the outfielder, that sucks. Ray. Is Ray left He's on ready. left? Here's the first offering. And they go right after him on the inside corner for. <clears throat> I think I'm actually going to go with May. Let's do that. Yeah, thanks, Willie. Yeah, my younger brother calling me sport. Saws him off here as his ball's and no, I won't get him next time. These Marlins are too good. Speaking of, though, next game will be the Spiders and the Athletics. That one I'll probably lose as well because the A's are really good. And Michael Mayfield is on a tear. Here is Andrew May. He pitched in one game already. One game, one inning. That was his major league debut. He has no service time entering a franchise, so if you start with Bacon Stream roster, Andrew May will be on the Reds. He'll probably be in Double A, and he'll have no service time. But here he is on my squad. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny B, I don't know what your thoughts are, d -Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers there. Need to start making better Luke pitches. Jordan, yeah, common defender. No one really you gotta love those common really defenders. Staunch on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did that. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Travis Berry. Oh, come on, now. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Getting late, 4-2 our score as we play the eighth inning. Pulled high in the air there out it is. to left field. That's left two field quick outs. Chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. Digging in the switch hitter, Junior Gonzalez. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. And a ball, 1-0. Line drive to left. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four of for the game. So a nice okay. job there by the two holders. That's not good because that brings up uh, Dwayne order. Scott now. This is a guy who just hit a home run. Get too many pitches a day in the big leagues. Middle cut. His eyes lit up right there. This pitcher's lucky he's not getting another ball from the umpire. Dwayne Scott will stand in again as we flash you back to the Here's the replay of that here. same home run this I just mentioned from the sixth inning. Home run that really got his guys going. Yeah, Dwayne Scott. Helped them retake the lead there in the sixth. Big home run. Not nuked exactly, but a you know big home run there. First pitch of the at bat. Now I actually have to pitch around him this time. Um off for second pitches high the throw. Oh, throw was not good Ooh, did i get him though oh i'm always confused by that umpire because i always think he's just gonna you know call him out just the animation is weird either there i just i just think i see something i don't there it is strike two here comes that slider Two. Ah, come on now. Guess what? I'm doing it again, though. Have this one be over the plate a little more. <laughs> no! Oh, damn it. 
I really just barely touch the right stick and then JC Ray makes a leap, okay? That was gonna be a run no matter what though. Setting. Here's Gravo. He also had a home run. Here's the replay of that home run. From the second inning. That's great. Uh, Troy, no, I can't challenge at second base, actually. So the only plays that you can challenge in the show are at, <laughs> the only plays that you can challenge at the show are at first base, uh, which is very upsetting. Uh, I just I think you should just completely ditch the feature then. If they they were like, oh, we just don't have the uh, the resources, or it would take like it take too much data or whatever the, the excuse was. Um, and so they only have challenges at first base. And they seem kind of forced, in Here my opinion, too. Pitch. I don't know. I can't do it whenever. There's only, like, this, the one screen that bounces you to it. And I'm not a fan. Check and I don't mind challenges in real life. I just don't like challenges in the show. Yeah, Bullet, this one is uh, getting away from me. Especially since I'm not even hitting a zone here now with Betancourt. There we go. There it is. Yeah, just take that one, Gravo. That's whatever. Okay. So they take a or get another run here. Here's that leap again, Willie. Yep, beautiful. Big jump. Down three runs now here in the eighth. Yeah, Willie, it's your fault. <laughs> Get distracted by having my brother in the chat. Leading Here's Bobby Getz. I got Bobby two, three, four Getz. coming around against one of their better relievers. That is Justin Yeager. They changed the audio on me too. It was Yeager when I made him, and now it's been changed to Yeager, which is Y E A G E R. Uh, but I kept the pronunciation at Ye or the the spelling at Yeager, but the pronunciation is Yeager. Bobby. Nonetheless, big time right-handed reliever. For these uh, Miami First Marlins. On its way. Just off the if you recognize the delivery, it's Jonathan Broxton. Ball. You got that really exaggerated uh, set position right there, right now. He pitched, uh, I think, just half a year with the Brewers. But he was a big time reliever with the Dodgers, if you guys remember Jonathan Broxton. Also pitched for the Reds, I believe the Cardinals, for a little bit. Hit on the ground is short. Yeah, Yeager. And a good throw gets him one gone. Quick out right there. Just three pitches to get cats. Ready for Parker. Shot now. Chase Parker. Parker. He's set and the pitch. And he fouls this one off. <sighs> yeah, down three runs here late. This is my opportunity. I need to get the middle of the order on. Here's a cutter that's off the I haven't been hitting with the bottom. I haven't been hitting with anybody, if I'm being honest. At least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. And did he go there around? it is. No, he did not. Hey, Parker bunting with eight speed is not the greatest decision. I would I would think about it if it was uh, 38. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, eight speed is uh, as slow as you can get. So no, this I need to walk here or him to send one in the gap. But again, I, I like Franklin a lot better than Parker. Parker doesn't seem to have the same kind of bat. There it is. That's a nice, nice big knock right there. Single up the middle. A perfect, perfect sinker right down the middle there. He definitely does not look fast. No. Looks like his knees aren't giving out on him yet, though, with the stance he's got. So that's a big plus for a catcher in his mid-30s. Willie, yeah, I know zero's the slowest, but eight's very slow as well. Not the point. <laughs> yeah, there, I'm very late on 97. You guys are distracting me now. It's a rare occasion that anyone squares him up. He doesn't give up a lot of hits, and when he does, they're almost always... Should I do a hit and run here? 
Matty V, there are two keys to being a good relief pitcher, and mm -hmm. always remember these. One, limit the base on balls. Two, keep the ball in the ballpark. You can't defend a walk, and you can't defend a round tripper, and he does both. Ready with the 1-1 one, one pitch. Oh, come on. He doesn't have a straight fastball either. It's just the sinker. So every case is, is it's going to be cutting away or it's going to be sinking down. And that one just sunk down right there. That one's off the plate, curveball. Now show me the cutter again. Not as much confidence on it. It's got to be a sinker then. He's not going to throw back to that curveballs. Oh, it was the cutter. And the cutter's a lot faster than the sinker, too. Still 2-2. Two -two. Need to get on something. Send it to the outfield. guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue <laughs> yeah bully you're right no I don't tend to do hit and runs too often uh, two two one more time especially you shouldn't be aggressive on the bases if you're not getting enough runners that's for sure there's a pretty good chance he's gonna get a pitch to swing it and yeah I'm, I'm a terrible hitter uh Parker he just took the sinker down this should be another one right <laughs> Three two. Do I do I hit and run here? Send him with eight speed. A oh! And a drive sent out toward the gap, racing back the left fielder. <laughs> oh, come on! That was my best hit ball of the track, night. He makes the catch. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Here's Elijah Fujita. Big time power bat for me. Right handed hitter. It's a sinker away. Two out with the man at first. Come on now. Show me another one. There it is. There, and it drops at least. Okay. There it is. Big rally. Who's next now? Luke Jordan? I believe so. That was a bullet right there. Nice line drive from Fujita. We bounce him out of the game. Here's Angelo Love. 8 for 12. Saves to opportunities. He's got a 5 for 3 record, 425 ERA. More strikeouts than innings pitch. Good line right there. Angelo Love has two breaking balls. He's one of the guys out of the bullpen that I can't really hit. So this is an issue. Four seam slider, sweeping curve, and a two seam. He's got Kenley Jensen's delivery. Kenley Jensen's delivery. And that's a two seam that I'm nowhere near. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Two men are on with two men out. That's ball off the plate and low. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Oh! Swung on and missed. I moved the PCI, didn't I? Oh, just a little bit. Um... Just close your eyes and swing. Yeah, um, I, I did that in Little League. It didn't work too well. Fastball off the plate. Show me another fastball. Please. There we go. Full count. Hey, guess what? Now I'm sending them. 3-2 with two outs. This is the closest thing you're going to get to me doing an actual hit and run here. Oh, I should have taken it. That one was in, right? That's bad. Not a great inning there. Do I have someone up the bullpen? I do. It's Jordan Hendricks. Let's put him in. 
Jordan Hendricks. So thanks to Betcore, but here comes Jordan Hendricks. The veteran reliever, Jordan Hendricks. First delivery to him on the way. He just throws Line three pitches, and the first one he throws gets sent to the outfield. And it's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. The relay, not in time, and he's in there. Yeah, Troy, it's a video game, so sometimes they uh they go through each other. It was over his head before he knew it. Bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would a quick double right there. Stepping in now. Bobby Baldwin and on the first pitch he grounds foul he's working on a one for three thus far yeah bullet that wasn't a good a, a B to end the inning there should have taken uh, shot hit down the last the pitch probably would have been ball four hooking just a bit foul so a missed opportunity there oh let's go strike three called <laughs> give me that fastball just off the well, plate but he rings him for him at the plate so far that's Look at this sequence right here. Games, oh, that's just so the last pitch. Okay. Yeah, sinker's just off the plate from Hendricks. We'll take it, though. Of course, I'm down three runs. I'll take anything at this point. Here is Flynn. And then I believe their pitcher's next, right? Yes, he is. Cool. So it won't be love to close it out then. They're probably going to put in Aquavito. He's their other big uh, right-handed reliever. Marlins really got uh, depth in the bullpen. Yeah, buddy. It, it, it's, it's frustrating, though, when it's late in the game like this and you, you're putting a rally together. Nonetheless, though, yeah. And yeah, hey, if you weren't making fun of me, then I wouldn't be responding. Here's Stephen Conley for those Marlins. Infield prospect. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Looks like he only has two at bats in the big leagues. Maybe a couple more. But nonetheless. Five hundred career batting average entering this appearance. Conley. A six foot one inch right handed swinger and thrower. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. I guess what? Slider down. Oh, <laughs> I really thought I got hey, this is a big right Okay, here. try it again. I'm the worst, too. I love trying breaking pitches twice in a row, especially when it's 0 2 and then 1 2. Almost always throw the same pitch. Big time strikeout right there, though. And here we go to the bottom of the ninth inning. Again, thanks for being here. My first stream back since uh, news of MLB 21 dropped. Just about to finish this one out. I'm only playing one game today, tonight, if you will. The of 34 of 36. I am more scared of it. Yeah. Uh, 42 strikeouts and 46 innings, along with 21 walks. Better against right-handers than lefties. We'll see. Um, but yeah, only one game tonight. I should be back either tomorrow or the Super Bowl Sunday, so not Sunday. Either tomorrow or Monday, and I'll post that on Twitter. Whatever I decide. It would be uh, later tomorrow night, um, about the same time as tonight's stream is. Or again, it'd be Monday. Monday might be during the day. We will see. 2-0 now to Aguilera. I wasn't even paying attention to the pitches in their balls. That one's on the plate, though. 2-1 now for Aguilera. Inside. Uh, Bullet, I guess uh, losing the lead is worse, right? Because when you've been down in the, the whole game like this one, I mean, I wasn't expecting to compete, really. So it's just exciting to put up a rally have a chance you know but then when you're up you're really expecting to win and then when you choke those away those are definitely worse this is a home run Aguilera let's go against their closer it's Jorge Aguilera and now we're only down two runs big home run to center field right there for Jorge Aguilera I knew it off the bat, too. Big, big home run. Pull one closer here. Yeah, bullet, exactly. And we really, we really still have a chance in this one. 
Only down two runs here. I got three outs to work with. And at eight, nine, and one, should have swung at that. I'm at eight, nine, and one here in the lineup now. This is Salazar. I will have a pinch hitter. It's probably going to be Mezzarocco next. He's been one of my better bats against righties. Bats off the bench. Salazar already had his one knock for the game, so he might be done. Ooh, fastball just off the plate. Alcavito seems to think that he can uh, just throw that past me because that was three in a row. That's four fastballs in a row. He started this guy backwards, a couple of off-speed pitches early, followed by back-to-back heaters. That's five fastballs in a row. Three and two now. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Um, if nothing else, I got a good eye. Not exactly the best uh, with the sticks, but uh, I won't swing at bad pitches for the most part. That's ball four. Wow, that was a quick walk right there from Aquavito. So I get the first two guys on. Big, big walk there from Salazar. This is going to be Mezzarock off the bench then. I like his bat a little bit more than Ozzy Ramirez in this situation. Yeah, big walk. So the tying run is at the plate now. It's Julio Mezzarocco. Then I will have the top of the order. So literally, like, anything but a double play is huge here for us. Slider. Mezzarocco was a clutch hitter for me early in the stream. Not this stream, but since I started streaming earlier in January. We've had a big uh, big game in Colorado. Oh, it's 0-2. Both sliders. Not even close there with the fastball. Doesn't seem to have too much control with the four seam. This is hit the other way out toward left field. <laughs> I thought that would drop. It looked like it was going to keep slicing away from him, and it didn't. So the batting order turns over now. Here's JC Ray back to the top of my order. Next couple guys are guys I want at the plate now. It's JC Ray, and then Bobby Getz is next. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. I'll get through. Let's go. There we go. JC Ray with the single up the middle. And the tying run moves to first base. Hey, that was a well Again, just need to avoid the double play ball. Get, get it in play. Get those runners over. But J.C. Ray, a speedster, now on the bases, is the tying run. Here is Bobby Getz. Getz is probably my favorite hitter on this team. Honestly, I don't know what it is, but he just consistently mashes for me. Uh, I believe he had a home run in the last game we played. Maybe not the last one, but one of the one of the last few we played, he had a big home run here. He set. Here it comes. Oh, and that's all I'm thinking about now. 98 for the first one. Now I'm pumped up. This is what you're talking about, Bullet, right? Just building up the rally here. Down a couple runs. That one's the one I should have swung at. O2 now. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Dude likes his fastball. Aquavito. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Swing and a miss. Look like the knuckle curve there, and that's out number two. That's a big strikeout there. Damn, that sucks. Ken Getz is the guy I really wanted to. He just missed it, too. And while they're taking him out, here's Carl Davis now, a long reliever. This is weird. I don't like bullpen logic in MLB The Show. Fix bullpen logic in MLB The Show. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't have him keep going. At least one more batter here. I guess, like, he just didn't, didn't have the energy. He looked really good to me. Thrown what, 23, 24 pitches? Something nuts. Oh, so I swing at the first one here. Carl Davis, a nice little right handed reliever. I had him on my Angels franchise it was a few years ago. Big time fastball, lots of stamina for a reliever. And I'm about to lose. I need to get one in play here. Oh, three straight 14. 
California-born ball player. Carl Davis, that's a Carl with a K. From the belt, kicks and deals. And he won't go after the <laughs> Yeah, if I, if I have anything, I have clutch hitting. Good eye, clutch hitting. Strikes to end the game. But yeah, um, I don't know why they would put in Davis here. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. There it is. Center field. And that's in there. When it drops, let's go. No way you get the out at third. There it is. Tyron run is at third base. Clutch single there from Chase Parker. The old dude can still rake. And I was aggressive on the bases there. Getting into third there for J.C. Ray. The tying run is now standing at third base. Uh, uh, that's the winning run. Do I want to run here? What are my options? It's Dominguez, 71 speed. Ramirez, 49 speed. And then my catcher is Foster, 45. Any of them are going to be faster. Yeah, I, I agree. They definitely should have left in Aguavito. Uh, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have Dominguez run here because if I get one in the gap, it should end the game then, right? And this is Franklin. Franklin pretty much Francisco always scorches Dominguez something. Will be summoned now to be but here's Francisco runner. Dominguez. <laughs> really made something out of this game right here. He's down three runs entering the bottom of the ninth inning, and we have a home run. And uh, I don't remember everything past that. But a big rally here to score a second run and working on a third. Fastball up that misses. Davis really relies on that fastball. And I mashed it with Parker. Yeah, that was in the zone, too. I appreciate that call on. That one's ooh, that one was inside. Okay, that's a nice little makeup call for him. Looks like it's been fastball off consistently. That one's down. Okay, two one, nice take there, Franklin. Does he go back to fastball now? He's also got a cutter, but he really hasn't thrown that. The set and the two and one. Oh! Good pitches. This is swung that was the one. Fastball right by me. Their final strike of the That's evening. bad. That's what you call a challenge fastball right there. And he struck him out. There's your the ball, ball game. game is over as they get the possible tying run over the Bullet, just like you were saying, this is a good game, though. I'd, I'd rather, you know, lose by a run like this than lose by a run blowing it, right? It's quite all right, though. This evening's game comes to an end 5-4. Now 9 and 7 on stream. I've lost uh two in a row. Tyler Jackson wins his team. Tyler Jackson gets the dub for them. These Miami Marlins are even further ahead of us in the standings now. Seven strong innings. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vasquez. Again, this will be my only game tonight. Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Uh but thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks, Willie. Yeah, I'm proud of you, too. Got two runs there in the ninth. Got two runs in the fifth. If only we had four more innings, I would have scored two more. Tyler Jackson gets the win for them. That's Dwayne Scott, player of the game. Uh, who's my player of the game? How about Parker? He had two hits and a walk. I like that. I've been keeping track of that in my own spreadsheet, my own players of the game. So Chase Parker is going to be mine for today. And uh, there we go. Got some uh, reward from the 11th inning. That's great. I don't really care. Um, yeah, Bullet. Yeah, not the greatest night. Again, I'd rather lose like that than have the lead the entire time and then lose by one at the end. Um, but uh, nonetheless, take an L there against Miami. Uh, our next game is going to be the 18th against the A's. So thanks, Bullet. Yeah, we'll see you... Uh, I'll be back either tomorrow, excuse me, either tomorrow or Monday. So here we will simulate to the 18th. That's my next game. It'll be at Oakland. Uh, and there it is right here. Give me the Cleveland Spiders at Oakland. 
Thanks, buddy. Welcome Thanks, everyone. the real Let's hot ice. Thanks for being here. News and events from um, again, yeah, the just the one. So the I'll save and seven bounce. You too, Jaron. Have a good night. Defeated the A's in Oakland, seven to three. Al Parker got the win on the mound, his 14th this season, as Arizona were winners over go? the Royals. There it is. Five